Come on, stop wasting your time selecting objects in AutoCAD. Hmm. All right, here are some advanced selection techniques that I use daily in the architecture office where I work to make my life easier. The first one is the select similar command. So the select similar command, you can access it by right click on the mouse and simply select similar. As you can see, it's easy to use. You can select many similar objects. In this case, all of the multi leaders. You could also select all of the objects on the same layer, for instance, if I do that, I can simply use the select similar and it will select all of the objects on this layer X glass. So as you can see, some of the objects are now being selected. You could also use the select similar options. Um, so if you type select similar and then change the settings, you have many settings here, such as color, layers, and so on. So you can simply click and uncheck uh, based on your needs to select your objects quickly. Now, one of the things that Select Similar cannot do is select objects by its specific color. So for instance, even though I have the option on the settings to select by color. Um, the select similar won't select these other yellow, <coughs> this one and this other one. So for this, we're going to need another advanced selection technique, which is the quick select command. So you can type Q select and press enter. Here you have this small dialog box. It's very friendly to use. So for instance, here I can simply say apply to the entire drawing. I can say uh, apply if I select here on these objects, I can select all of these objects and press enter to look for this yellow color in this case that I want to select, right? So I can say color and then equals to yellow, include a new set of selections. So I'm gonna click okay. Once I do that, you can see that the color is selecting only the objects that have color yellow. In this case, uh, these six objects, because this is selected. This is color by layer. It's not actually color yellow. So that's another selection technique that you can use to select by color. Then, so I remember I was trying to select or stretch this um, a storefront over here to make it equal, right? Equal in length of these two storefronts. So whenever I do the stretch, you know, I had to, I cannot actually stretch it without touching these um, little lines for the glass. So that's where I discovered another selection technique, which is basically can left click once on anywhere on your screen and you'll see these options over here. So you can click the CP or cross polygon. So once you click that, you have this uh, special cross polygon selection. So you can go around the objects that you need. And once you're done, simply press enter. And at this point you can use 
the command that you need in this case stretch because I wanted to stretch this so press enter and then I could simply stretch like so easily right so next for the selection technique that I want to share with you is so before we saw that we could use the select similar to select um, these multi-liter um, objects, right? All of them. But what happened if you want to select um, the multi-liters with the a specific number? In this case, let's pick a number. Let's say number six. I only want to select number six multi-liters, all of them. So in this case, let me show you another technique I use in a daily basis to simplify my life, right? Why am I gonna waste time selecting my objects? No way. So for this, let's use the find command. So let's type here the number that we want. In this case, I want to select all of the number six multiliters. So at this point, I can simply say fine. So there are all of these. So I'm going to select all of them and then click over here. So I, what I did is I select one and then holding shift, I click the last one and create a selection. So nope, wasn't that one, was this other one create selection. So once you click that, you can see that all of the multiliters in your drawing with the number six were selected. Great, right? So now you can do whatever you want. Change the number to, I don't know, number seven or, you know, do whatever you want. All right. So another advanced selection technique that I want to share with you is the SSX. So the SSX is a very advanced selection technique that you're probably not utilizing to make your life easier. And I'm very mad because of that. <laughs> but you'll start using it from today, right? Okay, so basically uh, there are some instances where you have hundreds or dozens of blocks in your drawing that you want to select per name. You don't want to select, if you use, let's say the, um, let's say the select similar, right? So select similar, um, you can see that these two blocks were selected only because they were on the correct layer the layer elect ex right so that's good but what happened if let's say this block is in layer zero so and this other block is also in layer zero so let's see what happened now when i do the select similar command you can see that it is selecting four objects, in this case, four blocks, because they are all in layer zero. But I didn't want that. I only wanted to select blocks with a specific name, in this case, the elevation height block. So to do that, we can take advantage of the SSX command. So remember the name of your block, of course, in this case, we want to select the elevation height block. That's the name of the block. So I'm gonna do SSX, press enter. I'm gonna say none or press enter. And then I'm gonna say block name. So once I do that, since this block name, um, it's separated by a space, you need to use this special character. So it was the name of the block was elevation space height 
again we're using this special uh, symbol because there is a space between the names of my block so once i do that i can press enter and enter to accept as you can see here in the command line it says three objects found so now you can simply use the select command if you want to select your objects with the p option for previous and boom you have your blocks only with the name elevation height selected at this point you could also you know use whatever command that you need the raise command if you want and use the p to select your three previous objects so again that's the ssx command and you should ut utilize that to your benefits to make your life so much easier okay and if you want to save your time even faster uh, there is a hundred command or a hundred more tricks in the uh, comments or thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members, there are 10 tricks here that you can implement in your daily use. So I'll see you over there.